Hey guys, I'm Zenus with TechLingo and today we'll look at our first impressions on the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge. So what we can see with the new S6 and S6 Edge is that Samsung has taken different design language over the past few years. Gone on the days with plastic backings and plastic sides. Now we're looking at premium quality phones, things that you expect from the money you pay. So the S6 and S6 Edge now come with metal rims, aluminum to be more specific, and also a glass backing. This gives users some form of elegance in that sense. And playing with the phone for a couple of minutes, I can instantly find myself enjoying this new look. However, one small thing to just take note is that the back gets pretty smudgy over time with fingerprints and stuff like that. Apart from that, it's a really nice looking phone. So just taking a look at the new phones, Samsung has changed up the headphone jacks to the bottom of the devices. This is a lot more natural when you're listening to music on the MRT or on the street. The wire isn't flowing at the top of your hands and interrupting your movements. Uh, apart from that, the volume rockers and the lock button finds itself in a familiar place with Samsung users, so uh, I think that's a, a good implementation by Samsung not to change something that's familiar with their fan base. So with the new S6 and S6 Edge, we see that Samsung has also implemented a fingerprint scanner on both phones. However, it's not the same clumsy swipe down thing that you can do with the Note 4 or the S5. Samsung this time around improved on it a whole lot more. All you need to do, similar to what Apple has done with the Touch ID, is just place your thumb or finger on it and it allows you to unlock your phone instantly. So for both the S6 and the S6 Edge, we see that Samsung has implemented a Quad HD display on both screens. Similarly, these are both AMOLED displays, which means you'll see vibrant colours and saturated tones on your screen. And because it's a Quad HD screen on a relatively smaller display compared to the Note 4, it grants it a pixel density above 500 ppi. And that is insane if you're looking at how sharp your screen will be. So with the new TouchWiz, Samsung has also removed about 40% of the bloatware. And I would say this phone runs really buttery. So this time Samsung has gone with a 16 megapixel camera. We can notice that Samsung has really made the camera a priority in this device. With a shortcut to the phone at anywhere with a double press of the home button, it takes you to the camera app and at an instance as well. Now, the back and the front camera comes with 4K recording and you expect the best from Samsung cameras. Uh, this camera shouldn't disappoint you, especially with Snapchat and Instagram. This time, its aperture is a lot larger at 1.9 and it allows you to take pretty decent shots in low light. This time round, Samsung has learned from their experimental Note 4 Edge by enhancing the user's experience with the Edge design on the S6. So with the new Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, it comes with a really useful light indicator on the Edge display. So now when you place your phone flat on a tabletop and receive a call, it notifies you who is calling by giving you a specific colour. So to end a call, all you need to do is place your finger onto the heart rate sensor. And this allows you to end the call without picking up the phone. So that's my time with the S6 and the S6 Edge. Uh, do leave in the comments below what you think about the phones and also what you like about it and what you don't. This is Zenus of TechLingo. See you soon.